We're coming to you live from the show floor at the 2012 AUVSI Unmanned Systems North America Conference. Lockheed Martin is showcasing our latest and greatest in unmanned vehicle systems. Today, you'll hear from our subject matter experts about some of the most interesting programs. The X-56A program is really the multi-utility aeroelastic demonstration program. It's an AFRL program that is to investigate active flutter suppression and gust load alleviation. Flutter is important to aerodynamics and, and aircraft design in the fact that it's a limit to what we can do with the airplanes. It limits our performance and speed. The way we solve flutter today is we add additional material. We make the airplane heavier. So that limits our performance, it makes our planes cost more, way more. So what the X-56 is doing is, is investigating ways to suppress flutter using active controls. So using tools that we use now for making an airplane fly good to now make the structure stable and therefore we can use less weight. Uh, that gives us a chance to fly higher, faster than before with a lighter weight aircraft. KMAX is part of the Marine Corps operations in Afghanistan. Essentially what we're doing is moving cargo, basically somewhere around five or six missions a night, moving water, meals, spare parts, whatever they need to be moved to the various GPS waypoints. So we're really just a trucking company essentially using two aircraft, one aircraft per night, and taking whatever they need to wherever they want it. Uh, the Marines have been flying the unmanned KMAX in Afghanistan since December, and they've had a lot of success with the aircraft, so now it's just obvious that they want to keep it in country longer. We're there under contract right now until September of this year, and now they're looking at keeping us over there until March of 2013. SMSS started in about 2005 as a Lockheed Company initiative. Uh, we saw a gap in capability for the Army, for the Marine Corps, and for the Special Operating Forces that wasn't being filled by existing programs of record. And that was to lighten the load for the dismounted soldier. But we were very happy with the performance of the system in uh, Afghanistan. The system actually exceeded our expectations uh, for performance there. and. We're just really pleased with how the how the in-theater evaluation worked out for us. Uh, the system was used for lots of different types of uh, hauling of materiel, everything from hauling soldiers' packs, which is what we had originally envisioned it for, to hauling lots of other types of material. What we're doing immediately is working with the Army for counter-improvised explosive device activity. Uh, we're working with uh, both uh, TARDEC and Night Vision Labs uh, and Fort Leonard Wood to prepare for another utility assessment in the September time frame to look at scaled uh, counter IED payloads that would be appropriate for a machine of this size. So that's an immediate thing that we're doing between now and the end of the year.